still going too. I can still go. Because I... It records up to like... I don't remember. Like it can take up to a thousand pictures with one... The SD card I have. Oh nice. What size do you have? I don't know. You don't have to take it out right now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, but... It records up to... Like the camera without the the camera without the SD card can only record like 30, 15 minutes. Wait, like you can like do stuff on that without an SD card? Yeah, but it's very limited. That is high tech. My camera doesn't do that. That's impressive. Like what it. what it lacks for in quality, it makes up for in storage. Nice. Minimal storage. Because <laughs> it's like 30 pictures and 15 minutes of footage is pretty. 30,000 pictures. That'd be cool. I wish I could take 30,000 pictures. Why do SD cards have to be so expensive? How expensive are they? Like the one that I got, I know it was pretty expensive for how much storage it yeah. had. I don't know. I think it was like 20 bucks, which isn't too bad. But I mean, yeah. I don't always have a random spare $20 bill. Yeah. yeah. What time is it? All the times. All the time. Device, it says it's 11.45. Okay. 11.52. I mean 1.52, yeah. I was like, don't lie to me. I know it's not 11.45. You're lying to me. Oh my. What were we doing at 11.45? We were at your house, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Filming. <laughs> was Probably. it the first video? Probably. We're having lunch. We're Probably having, having lunch. lunch. One of the two. You know, I gotta do this more often with just random people. Be like, yo, you wanna, you wanna you sit wanna... in a bed and record just us, us talking. in the bed. <laughs> okay, well, you can go. Stop running your motor. How do you feel, Emma? You're the first person I record. You, you actually are the first person I recorded a video with, with a bag. Where are you going? Emma, calm down. Hey, my neighbor. Calm. So stupid. Uh, okay, what did you say? Sorry, I was too focused on my stupid neighbor. <laughs> I was saying, you're actually the first person. Was that <laughs> outside bird. of the bird? It's my bird. Okay, yeah. She's weird. First person in bed with to record a video. Pretty, uh... How do you feel about that? Color me stoked. Did you catch that reference? From Heathers? Yeah. Good. Proud of you. Thank you, I barely... Honestly? Just did though. Like I was like, wait a minute, I've heard that before. I think I'm gonna start saying that more often. That's a fun phrase. Also, Veronica can slay my life, so In a good way or a bad way? Um, both. Gotta stay in my homegirl. I don't even know what stand means. I should stop saying it. It's the first time I've said it though, so There's a lot of things that you say. Yeah. It's it's entertaining. <laughs> Sometimes I don't even realize it and then I'm like a week later, oh that's what that meant. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, or I'll say a pun and I'll get it like five minutes after I say it. Like, I didn't mean to say the pun, but then I'll be like, ah, that's funny. So. Emma, what did the orange say to the apple? What? Nothing, it's an orange. That's funny. How do you make holy water, Louise? Oh. You boil the hell out of it. It's uh. <laughs> my favorite joke. Um. Also, um. What do you call a fly without wings? What? A walk! Oh. <laughs> that's so These funny. These are old jerks. I know, hey, I invented really funny. a new word. What Plagiarism. Get it? Sean. Get it? You get it? <laughs> that was funny. Also, your hair went in my ear and it felt really weird. <laughs> I'll brush your ear with my hair. No. This one's weird. It's what if you kink. made a brush out of human hair? People do that. I don't know why, but people do. Cannibal Lecter. Cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Oh, I love that video. Shia LaBeouf. That's a good video. One time I looked out here and there were like three, like ten birds in the tree. Like, they were really colorful too. It was really, really pretty. What colors? It's like a red one, like a cardinal and a blue jay and an oreo, which is orange. And like a yellow one or something. I think. If it's orange, why is it an oreo? 
Not an Oreo, an Oreola. Oh. <laughs> I heard Oreo. <laughs> you dork. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm not a real penis. <laughs> I regret telling you that. I've known it for like a long time. But like, I, I think I was just tired. So I was like, let's share random facts. But, yeah. Whale penis face. Fun fact of the day. A dork is uh, a whale penis. Also, another term, I think it's the scientific term for goosebumps, is piloerections. Yeah, and I was like, I'll pilo erect you. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, at least we're Maybe I'd in. give you goosebumps, goosebumps. everywhere. No. Maybe that's what it'd be. No, you don't. I'm pretty, pretty warm right now. But I'm not trying to. Okay, fuck you. You got like a cat hair on your chin. Ew. My mom's hair, what the heck? Disgusting. Oh, did you eat? Do you hear that elbow crack? Okay, never mind, I'm not gonna talk about that. Talking about what? No, it's like weird. My and channel I'm, is weird. Well, yeah, I don't think they want to hear about it. It is weird. You know what I need to do for my videos? I need to do clickbaity thumbnails. Once I get big enough for enough people. Okay, and then people will be like, stupid Louise, do you cook bait? Dumb. I know, I hate it when people do that, because I'm just like, oh, that looks so cool, or like, that'd be a really cool theory, and then you get onto it and they don't talk anything about it. Yeah, and you're like, okay, thanks. That's actually a tip that Phil uses in um, Tavanoff. Uh, he goes, use titles for your videos that will catch people's eye. Don't just do like, my, my vacation to France. Use like, Psycho stalker eagle or something or seagull or something like that like exciting things so it's like kind of quick baby Have you Fun taken- Fun time in the bed with Emma. You know it. Have you taken a chair quiz yet? A chair? Yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah. chair are you? Uh, I was the... Sorry. I was the red chair. Nice. I was the blue chair. I wanted to be the black chair but... I wanted to be the black chair yeah. too. But I'm the blue chair. I like Phil. Get sat on my phone if you know what I mean. It's not a cat hair. Don't eat it, that's gross. Maybe you can feed it to me, Emma. Yeah. Feed it to me, Emma. Don't eat a rat. Feed me! Don't eat cat hairs. Feed me! There's a spider. Dang it. Feed me. No. Feed me. Is that. Ew. What? Your DNA. I think it's just trapped in there. Gross. Look at that. It's disgusting. Ew, when there's oh it's my fingerprint. I think it's the side of my finger. It's weird. Feed me. Okay, this is weird because I can actually see better when I do this. That's sad. Oh my god. Just gosh. copy your lenses and flip them. Flip them, out. yeah. I'd probably get sick. Huh. Sick, huh? Probably get sick. I don't Hate my butt, stupid. I'm taking my glasses. Okay, thanks. Now I can't see anything. Neither can I. I'm blind. I feel like I'm, I'm like blind too. Eye. Okay, that's chill. I mean, I can see you perfectly. Really? Yeah, look at me. Well, I guess that makes sense because I'm farsighted. You're close. So do I look fine then? <laughs> no, I can't see you. Uh, I'm farsighted, so I, I mean, can see things far away. Like, I can see you, but you're blurry. I'm not blind. I'm blurry face. And I care what you think. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Okay. That's why I'm here with glad, you. Glad to hear you care about my opinion. Because it's 10 after 4, and I am taken by sleep. It is. Okay, this is a story iPad, about a scarlet letter. You are a scarlet, yeah. scar scarlet letter. It took me a long time to say that word. Scarlet letter. You know what? I feel like I'm about to go to sleep because I don't have my glasses on. Oh my god. I mean, we go. you're I'm welcome fully, to fall asleep. I'm, I'm fully dressed. No, my mom would not approve. <laughs> She's knocking the door like, hey, what's up? She's like, can I come in? Suddenly I'm sleeping on you. She'd be like, homegirl, get off your friend. Unless she got really two. excited. You know, that could be taken in two ways, Louise. And I just took it in the first. What is my laugh? Because you're here my lap. That's not my lap. I feel like my lap. glasses are really big now because I haven't had them on for like... Two minutes. Day. Yeah. 
Wait, were you not wearing them during band? No, I was. They're just like covering my eyebrows. Why do I even bother doing my eyebrows? My glasses cover it. So, I was talking to one of the freshmen as I was helping him get his music. You have a cat hair on your leg. No, that's actually just my hair. It's white? Yeah. Okay. I'm Whatever. stressing. I stress through my leg Old hairs. Oh, man. Anyways, uh, I was helping this one freshman, and he's like, so next year you're going to be the senior drum major, and I was like, yeah, yeah. You're like, no, I'm going to stay a junior forever. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, so hot, so, what was it? I forgot what he asked, but I told him how it went down. I was like, well, no, no, he's like, so who all ran for drum major? And I was like, well, just me. originally, it was just me. He's like, like, well, that was hard. Like, like, pretty, uh, like, I was like, I'm pretty sure everybody was kind of fine and set with me being drum major. Like, and Ms. Greenwood's nobody, like, Tiana, you gotta nobody, go. Yeah, and then, and then so Miss Greenwood wanted to have a, a, someone, a, someone to go against me. Just so, so it's a little bit. Yeah, so I wouldn't just be handed the title. And... Even though you basically were. Yeah. Let's face it. Yeah. And so, I mean, so we've, they all voted, Tiana and I did our speeches, we basically had the same answers because either one of us could, yeah, could have done really it. Yeah, that was really funny. Either one of us, Tiana could have done it, I mean, I feel like the only reason I was chosen because I was the original person who wanted to. The OG drum drummer. Yeah, I was the original one who wanted to do it. Nice. So. Solid. But I feel like that's a crappy reason to choose me just because I was yeah. the original one. Who but still, that's funny. Kind of. I mean, yeah, it sometimes really it let, I let it bother me, but sometimes I don't. Just don't let it bother you. Yeah, it was really funny. Chad would be like, so this is my answer to this, and Luis is like, yeah, mine too. <laughs> or, or the, the other, other way. way. Yeah, it wasn't just that It way. wasn't it was just me. Way. I wasn't just being cheap. Yeah, no, it was really funny, though. But I mean, sometimes, like... Like, if what she said was a really long thing to say... Then you're if, like, well, I agree. That, that, yeah, I, I, like, I would say I'd agree with that, but, like, if what she said was kind of short in, in general, then I would restate it differently. Yeah, because, like, it's hard, especially when you, like, have the same opinion on something. You're like, how do I make yeah. this sound different? <laughs> so... I mean, on the band, Tiana and I have similar opinions, but probably out of band stuff, we probably don't have completely the same opinions yeah but just in band man and then uh allison was gonna have claire run yeah but she bailed out yeah she's weird just kidding love you claire <laughs> and then and then i uh and then tj was thinking about running and i was like you should do it man because i'm yeah, why didn't because you? i'm all alone here Strong. i don't want to be all alone I need that would be so awkward <laughs> she's like so even though you're already the drum major because no one wants to do it, um, minus you, let us hear your interview answers. Actually, come to think of it, you kind of bring up a point. Is, is, is the main reason as to why nobody went up for the drum major position, is it because they didn't want to or is it because they were just content with me being drum major? I don't know. Maybe it's both. You know. I'm... Matilda was like, yeah, you should do drum major next year. When I was in sophomore, I was like, ah, honey, no. Who do you think I am? No, it was my freshman year, because you do it first. I was like, honey, who do you think I am? She was like, yeah, if you get, like, more, like, bold, do it. I'm like, honey, who do you think I am? I can't do drum major. Like, I'm too timid. <laughs> Not anymore, but still too timid for drum major. I mean, the only time you'd have to be allowed is your senior drum major year. Yeah, Junior but, drum major year, you just slip in and out to yeah. tell people to move up or to move back. But, or to tell them to stop being a hoe. <laughs> but the way I do it is I did it the way Allison did it, where like if she didn't know your name, she would ask you your name, and then she would tell you to adjust. Yeah. Where, and that's the way I do it, because I Just mean, give them really dumb nicknames, like, hey, red hat guy, hey, sweater guy. But then again, hey, at, the same time, shirt, at the same time, I'm trying to remember their names. That's dumb. Give them stupid nicknames and have them re have, just remember them by that. And then they'll be like, wow, this guy was a drum major who didn't know anyone's name, but gave us all stupid nicknames. 
<laughs> You'll be remembered forever. Is that good? Why did I give you the nickname? We already. This was yeah, a question in one you of the already, videos. You already. You're so bad at giving me nicknames. I had to give you one for you, for me. Awful. Freckles. Don't call me Freckles. Why not? That's so dumb. Why not Freckles? Stop. What well, about laces? <laughs> Call you laces. I mean, I don't ever wear. Oh, well, that's a lie. I do wear unlaced shoes when I wear my flats. I'll call you Lacey. Don't call. Remember when you were calling me Anna? I was like, that's so mean. Anna. Yeah, a little bit ago, like a few years back. Honestly, you remember more of us than I remember of us. Wow. I'm sorry. You should be. Yeah, and I was like, why would you call you call me Anna? And you're like, get it? And I was like, mean. Oh, Annabeth. Yeah, that. From uh, Percy Jackson. No, that's no. not what I, it was, no. Are you sure? I'm positive. Then what was it from? <laughs> um, from when I was having a hard time with my body. No. That, yeah. No. It was from that. I remember it. No. I and I was like, it. that was mean. I don't remember. But I was like joking, because I was like, yeah, whatever. I don't, I don't remember. remember. I remember a lot. That was an interesting time. I don't remember. I remember. And why you're lying to me. I'm not lying to you're you. You're lying to me. But I don't know where the email is. Otherwise, I would totally pull it up and show you. You know, I don't remember when I stopped deleting all my emails, but there was a time where I would, like, delete them after, like, a day. Really? Yeah, and and then and then one day I'm just like, you know, one of these days I'm gonna want to look back to I, the yeah. emails, so I should probably stop deleting them. I keep yeah, I keep all of your. Emails. I think I have like only the emails from like, uh, mid eighth grade and. Uh, really? Yeah. That's so like sad. a year and a, um, actually about a year. I'm gonna of go back into my school. Like, yeah, dead. I'm gonna go back into my school email and send you those now. Just be like, hey, here's a conversation from seventh grade. Hey, this is from... We were adorable in 7th grade. Oh my gosh. And 8th grade. So funny. I would say ninth grade, but that wasn't too long ago. No. Well, at least it doesn't feel like it was too long ago. No, it's weird. I keep thinking I'm in junior year now, and I'm like, no, I'm not. And you go, yeah, you are. Shut up. Shut Emma, two years ago, we were just getting into marching band. Oh my gosh. That and was, was a riot. Boy. That was a riot. Time I think we fun. just had like a collective existential crisis. Yeah. We're like, oh my gosh. That's crazy. I can't believe it. Now I really want to. Okay, I'm going to start reading you a cursed child because I want to read it now. It's making me sad. I feel like oh, my pants are up a lot. Look at this really pretty copy of the Beetle, the bard I have from um, Barnes and Noble. That's a good one too. I'm going to bring that over too. I feel like my shirt is. Being here. Ew, it's all dusty. Disgusting. Okay. Check if it's still recording. Yeah, it's recording. You okay. have 10 minutes and 47, 5 seconds left. Okay. Oh, I just got. <laughs> that was weird. It was like pins and needles in my feet, but just for a second. What the heck? Okay, so did I mark it? I did mark it. I read this. This is a good. I My love sister this. owns this because I bought it for her for her birthday. Oh really? Mhm. Mm That's fun. I want to read you one because I really like these. Okay, what one do we want to read? I don't know. Okay, let's read. Um, that would be remedy. That's the one I was looking at. That's I was like, one. we should read that one because it has stump, and I was thinking of Patrick Stump. Yeah, I used to call him Stumpy. Stumpy. Yeah. I used to call him Patrick. <laughs> Wow, original. Oh, the final fear of fortune. Oh, she's hot. Hey, what? Yes, that is very hot. Yeah, she's, she's cute. Okay, where is it? This is not it. But August Dumbledore. Found it. Stock. Okay. Be warned, my voice will get raspy because that's what happens when I read a lot. Raspy. Not like that. Um. <laughs> Babbity Rabbity and her cat Galing Stump. A long time ago, in a far off land, there lived a foolish king who decided that he alone should have the power of magic. He, ther he therefore commanded the head of his army to form a brigade of witch hunters and issued them with a pack of ferocious black hounds. 
At the same time, the king caused proclamations to be read in every village and town across the land. Wanted by the king, an instructor in magic. No true witch or wizard dared volunteer for the post, for they were all in hiding from the brigade, brigade of, yeah, of witch hunters. How, sorry, that's gross. However, a cunning charlatan with no magical power saw a chance of enriching himself and arrived at the palace claiming to be a wizard of enormous skill. The charlatan performed a few simple tricks which convinced the foolish king of his magical powers and was immediately appointed grand sorcerer in chief. The king's private magic master. Sorry, I just stumbled in my words. Um, the charlatan bade the king give him a large sack of gold so that he may he might purchase wands and other magical necessi necessities. He also... What are you doing? You're so weird. He also requested several large rubies to be used in the casting of curative charms and a silver chalice or two for the storing and maturing of potions. All these things the foolish king supplied. The charlatan stowed the treasure safely in his own house and returned to the palace grounds. He did not know that he was being watched by an old woman who lived in a hovel on the edge of the grounds. Her name was Babity, and she was the washerwoman who kept the palace linen soft, fragrant, and white. Peeping from behind her drying sheets, Babity saw the charlatan snap two twigs from one of the king's trees and disappear into the palace. <laughs> Gross, that was really loud. Ribbit. Shut up. The charlatan gave one of the twigs to the king and assured him that it was a wand of tremendous power. It will only work, however, said the charlatan, when you are worthy of it. Did I just give myself no, I didn't. Okay. Every morning, the charlatan and the foolish king walked out into the palace, gar pa palace grounds where they waved their wands and shouted nonsense at the sky. The charlatan was careful to perform more tricks so that the king remained f convinced of his grand sorcerer's skill and of the power of the wands that had cost so much gold. One morning, as the charlatan and the foolish king were twirling their twigs and hopping in circles and chanting mean meaningless rhymes, a loud cackling reached the king's ears. <laughs> Good job. Babity the washerwoman was watching the king and the charlatan from the window of her tiny cottage and was laughing so hard she soon sank out of sight. <laughs> too, too weak to stand. I must look I must look most undignified to make the old washerwoman laugh so, said the king. He seized his hopping and twig twirling and frowned. I grow weary of practice. When shall I be ready to perform real spells in front of my subject, sorcerer? The charlatan tried to soothe his pupil, assuring him that he would soon be capable of astonishing feats of magic, but Babity's cackling had stung the foolish king more than the charlatan knew. Tomorrow, said the king, we shall invite our court to watch their king perform magic. The charlatan saw that the time had come to take his treasure and flee. Alas, your majesty, it is impossible. I had forgot to tell your majesty that I must set out on a long journey tomorrow. If you leave this palace without my permission, sorcerer, my brigade of witch hunters will hunt you down with their hounds. Tomorrow morning you must assist me to perform magic for the benefits of my lords and ladies, and if anybody laughs at me, I shall have you beheaded. The king stormed back into the palace, leaving the charlatan alone and afraid. Not all his cunning could save him, could save him now, for he could not run away, nor he, could he help the king with magic that neither of them knew. Seeking a vent for his fear and his anger, the tr charlatan approached the window of Babity the washerwoman. Peering inside, he saw the little old lady sitting at her table, polishing a wand. In a corner behind her, the king's sheets were washing themselves in a wooden tub. The charlatan understood at once that Babity was a true witch, and that she, uh, okay, and that she who had given him this awful problem could also solve it. There we go. Crone roared the charlatan. Your cackling has caused me dear. If you fail fail to help me, I shall denounce you as a witch and it will be you who is torn apart by the king's hounds. Old Babity smiled at the charlatan and assured him that she would do everything in her power to help. The charlatan instructed her to conceal herself inside a bush while the king gave his magical display and to perform the king's spells for him without his knowledge. Babity agreed, Rude. Babity agreed to the plan but asked one question. What, sir, if the king attempts a spell Babity cannot perform? The charlatan scoffed. Your magic is more than equal to that fool's imagination, he assured her, and he retired to the castle, well pleased with his own cleverness. The following morning, all the lords and ladies of the kingdom assembled in the palace grounds. The king climbed on to a stage in front of them, with the charlatan by his side. I shall firstly make this lady's hat disappear, cried the king, pointing, to, pointing his twig at a noble woman. From inside a bush nearby, Babity pointed her wand at the hat and caused it to vanish. Great was the astonishment and admiration of the crowd, and loud their applause for the jubilant king. Next, I shall make that horse fly, cried the king, pointing his twig at his own steed. From inside the bush, Babity pointed her wand at the horse, and it rose high into the air. 
The crowd was still more thrilled and amazed, and they roared their appreciation for their magical king. That's a nice ass. That's a horse, Louise. Come on. Oh, wait, no, those are donkeys. I'm yeah, the there's a picture of a horse. My mother's a horse. Wow, rude. Kidding. She's actually a human. Maybe surprise, not. surprise. Okay, how much longer is this? I come from Just human. Really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Dang. Okay. And now, said the king, looking all around for an idea, and the captain of his brigade of witch hunters ran forward. Your majesty, said the captain, this very mor morning Saber died of, a, of eating a poisonous toadstool. Bring him back to life, your majesty, with your wand. And the captain heaved onto the stage the lifeless body of the largest of the witch hunting hounds. Okay. He's just holding a dead body? Holding a dog. Cool. Oh, it was a dog. It was, yeah, I said the largest of the witch hunting hounds. Oh, I didn't hear hounds. Oh, yeah, I don't think a person would eat a toadstool like this kind of dog. I mean, maybe it has magical prop. Look at all that cat hair my duct tape collected. That's yeah. gross. That is gross. Anyways, continue. Okay. Um, the foolish king brandished his wing, his twig, and pointed it at the dead dog, but inside the bush, Babbity smiled and did not trouble to lift her wand, for no magic can raise the dead. When the dog did not stir, the crowd, be crowd began, to fir began first to whisper and then to laugh. They suspected that the king's first two feats had been mere tricks after all. I am going to punch you in the throat. That's part of the book. <laughs> yeah. Why doesn't it work? The king screamed at the charlatan, who, oh, who bethought himself. What? Who? Okay, I didn't know that was a word. Who bethought himself of the only ruse left to him? There, your Majesty! There! He shouted, pointing at the bush where Babbity sat concealed. I see her plain, a wicked witch who is blocking your magic with her own evil spells. Seize her, somebody! Seize her! Babbity left fled from the bush, and the brigade of witch hunters set off in pursuit, unleashing their hounds, who bayed for Babbity's blood. But as she reached a low hedge, the little witch <laughs> the little witch vanished from sight, and when the king, the charlatan, and all the court quarters gained the other side, they found a the pack of witch hunting dogs barking and scrabbling around a bent and aged tree. She's turned herself into a tree, screamed the charlatan, and dreading lest Babbity turn back into a woman and, woman and denounce him, he added, Cut her down, your majesty. That is the best way to treat evil witches. An axe was brought at once, and the old tree was felled to loud cheers from the quarters and the charlatan. However, as they were making ready to return to the palace, the sound of loud crackling stopped them in their cackling stopped them in their tracks. Fools! cried Babbity's voice from a stump they had left behind. No witch or wizard can be killed by cutting but be killed by being cut in half. Take the axe if you do not believe me, and cut the grand sorcerer in two. The captain of the brigade of witch hunters was eager to make the experiment, but as he raised the axe, the charlatan fell to his knees, screaming for mercy and confessing all his wickedness, and he was, as he was dragged away to the dungeons, the tree stump cackled more loudly than ever. By cutting a witch in half, you have unleashed a dreadful curse upon your kingdom, it told the petrified king. Henceforth, every stroke of harm that you inflict upon my fellow witches and wizards will be felt like an axe stroke in your own side until you will until you will wish you could die of it. At that the king fell to his knees too and told the stump that he would issue a proclamation at once, protecting all the witches and wizards of the kingdom and allowing them to practice their magic in peace. Very good, said the stump, but you have not made not yet made amends to Babbity. Anything, anything at all, cried the foolish king, wringing his hands before the stump. You will erect a sta <laughs> you will erect a statue of Babbity upon me. Will and you erect a statue of me. You know it, um, in memory of your poor washerwoman, and to remind you forever of your own foolishness, said the stump. The king agreed to it at once and promised to engage the foremost sculptor in the land and have the statue made of pure gold. Then the shamed king and all the noble wo men and women returned to the palace, leaving the tree stump cackling behind them. When the grounds were des deserted once more, their rig